I'm gonna do a video walk around of the Jeep right now. Kind of point out some of the highlights and uh, flaws. Um, so we're on the rear uh, driver's side. We've got a little scuff, scratch. But here's the underneath quarter. Really nice and a dry climate, so we don't get cancer and stuff like that here. I'm not saying it never happened, but it's just it's rare. Um, there'll be a lot of places like this where there's a second coat of paint over the original coat and it's uh, leaking up. Of course, the uh, simulated wood trim is faded and um, it's peeling up like that. Let me kind of show you the rockers. So it's a really straight body in and of itself. It's just, you know, it's had a repaint, the paint's faded, and it's peeling. So it's kind of bad up here on the gutter rails. front grille and hood. This grille has this uh, chrome liner on it that is uh, peeling. Right here of the size. And there's a small dent on the hood. Other than that, the, the hood is, you know, the paint's faded. Uh, body lines are straight. The metal is in really good shape. Go back to the uh, passenger side. Yeah. Trying to pick out some flaws here, but the trim. Uh, covers the uh, simulated wood. It's coming unglued there. Some more paint flaking. Weather strips are old and rotted. Let me show you this rocker panel. You can kind of catch the frame under there too. Couple small grocery cart dings right here. There's a really small smooth dent right here. Again, peeling paint. No rust, just you know, the second coat is peeling on the roof around the gutter rails too. So in general, the body, as far as the rust goes, it's in, in my opinion, great shape. Um, the metal, as far as any body work or um, repairs, is in great shape. The paint is poor, um, and that's, you know the wood, tr the wood trim and trim is is in poor shape. Um, there's a lot to uh, there's a lot to be desired if you're looking to do a restore, or if you just want a decent driver that's not you know a rust bucket. Here's that crack in the windshield. That's it's hard for it to come through on the photo. And the roof.
go on to the next portion of the videos. I'm gonna take you on a tour of the inside now. Uh, seats are power. Uh, I'm sure this is the, uh, we're gonna start on the driver's side. This is the driver's side door panel. Uh, the speaker cover is missing and uh, got power windows, power, uh, power windows, power door locks. Uh, there's missing trim so, yeah. on this pull handle. There we go. Missing trim on the pull handle. Again, we're on the driver's door. Um, I think I said it in the listing, but I'm not operating the windows. These are just really notorious for uh, bad regulators. I don't want to push one down and then it not come up. So. Um, maybe the best case scenario would be to assume all the window regulators are bad. Go to the cluster. Uh, this is a factory air conditioning Jeep. Um, it does have the aftermarket stereo. Um, yeah, there we, yeah, aftermarket stereo. Uh, ashtray. I am missing the cigarette lighter. Um, all the instrument lights work. You can see that on another portion of the video. Um, I do not know if the rear defrost works. I can hear it clicking back there, but I don't know if it's working. Uh, here's the uh, brake pads and gas gas pads. Carpet. Uh, dash pad is in great shape. Okay, let's go back to the driver's side passenger. Um, store panel is actually in pretty good shape. Of course, got to your uh, passenger ashtray. Um, Jeep floor mats. Uh, the upholstery on the inside. This is cotton. Our cotton trees are shedding. Uh, aftermarket seat upholstery, I think it is the original carpet. Uh, it does have the uh, luggage rack, um, or the, not the um, it does have the luggage rack, uh, but this is the uh, cargo cover uh, to hide your luggage in the rear. It does work. Okay, take that up. A little bit of carpet wear there. It's the cargo area. All right, let's go to the uh, passenger rear. Passenger rear door panel. This pool. This pull handle is broken. I have it, but you can see the screws are supposed to go right through there and the plastic is broken. Other than that, it's in pretty good shape. It could easily be repaired, but I didn't do it because I'd rather tell you about it. Door panel, carpet. Okay. So that obviously was the original color, and then the repaint there. You can see that. All right, we're on the front passenger door panel. A little bit of broken trim there. And that pull handle. The carpet on the door panel is pretty good. The door panel itself is good. Power locks, power window. Speaker cover grill is broken in places, but there, um, that is not rust. That's where the paint is flaking. Rocker panels, interior. Of course, this comes down.
Jeep floor mats. And back to the pad cover. Oh, um, the uh, sun visors, interior sun visors. There we go. I didn't test to see if those work. Oh, yep, of course. Everything works. Uh, the lights on the passenger sun visor work. Uh, headliner is in great shape, but it looks to be aftermarket. So let me kind of show you here. So all the dome lights work. That's the headliner there. It should be a pretty good. It'll give you a pretty good idea of the interior condition.